a shock. I'm gonna believe. What's up? Good afternoon. Guys, you good? What's up, my baby? Big up, RT. Queen Lady Gangster. Big up, big up, big up. You guys good? Mm hmm So, I can't believe. When... I spoke to Queen Lady Gangster this morning and I asked her um, if she will be at Sting. The last answer I expected was no. I was expecting her to say yes because I, I had already had a response in regards to her answer. I thought she was going to say yes. And then I would say basically say to her to big up all the fans while she on Sting for me. That was my way of saying that nobody sent for me. But I was totally shocked when Queen Lady Gangster came out and said that she's waiting to hear from them. No, Lang, Lang, Lang. You understand? You gotta be smart like Ben, Ben, Ben. You stupid as fuck. Because if two social media icons made your event go viral, and then you gonna diss them like that this year? Mm -mm -mm. Never you strike the hand that feed you. Your granny never tell you. Never kill the goose that lay the golden end. And never throw away the stick before you cross the water. So there goes thing. Bringing in all these artists that they consider to be relevant and from way back and ignoring Amari and Queen Lady Gangster and that calls for girl power. I'm looking at the comments all over social media and everybody is just absolutely happy about this love frenzy. The love been there, but I never showed it. They are so excited. You go on Facebook, facebook.com slash Amari777. That, that's the, you think Instagram is hard? Facebook. When you pass the Facebook test in regards to fan, you have made it. You have literally made it. On Facebook, everybody is saying, we love this. We love the union between Queen Lady Gangster and Amari. And I guarantee you, Within the next few days, we will speak more confident. We will walk more confident. We will talk more confident. Because I was in my bed just now and remember that God said that basically where two or three is gathered in Jesus' name, Christ is in the midst. And I was alone. I was walking by myself. But now it's a different thing. It's a Mari and Queen Lady Gangster. Yes, yes, that is what it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been loved this girl and I've been fought for this girl because, you know, we were both with Sicker Rhymes and then Sicker Rhymes called me up one day on live, you know, and said he wanted me to do a song with him. Then I realized that he didn't just want me to do a song. Sicker Rhymes wanted me to go up against a lady that we, we had no beef. We had no beef. You understand? So even this morning when RT draw for one of the songs I did for Sicker Rams, I wanted to say stop. Because you giving me a song to sing against somebody that have done no wrong to me. And the reason why Sicker Rams dumped me before Sting was because I got in touch with someone to tell Queenie that I love her. And I'm not up to the bullshit. So Sikarams got rid of me because he wanted me to go on Sting and bring a coffin and to scare her. And I wasn't for that. First of all, I was supposed to dress like Vibes Cartel. So um, I got the suit that's there. You see me in it still. The army suit and all that. I went to the army store, got the army suit and everything. And they were discussing somebody. Um, how they going to elevate the coffin on the stage? My God. And I'm like, but this lady, she just suffered a loss in regards to her child. I don't want to do that. 
So the day when I start putting my feet down and say, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. And then I came on live and I said, guess what? You all tell me that I must come online and say, oh, I'm going to K-I-L-L Queenie. And let me tell you all, I'm not going to do it because if something happens to Queenie, everybody going to think that it's me. You get what I'm saying? So I wasn't, and ma, mama, mama saw, uh, God is an amazing God. This morning when Queen Lady Gangster also said that we should make him proud. Make who proud? You proud? You proud? After me sit on I'm a cocky, Queen Lady Gangster have a golden heart. Me a trash. Me a vagabond. You understand? Make who proud? Are you this way? Yesterday me get a call. And it was like, Shalo. Cause the only somebody call when me answer in Florida, Paul. And uh, you know, say Paul are the one who picked me up in Miami the other day, Fort Lauderdale, and bring me to Miami so that's me could have reached thing. I'm my, my, my fan for over 10 years. You understand? And Paul said to me, say, Amari, you know, see what happened to the people them were doing a bad. We do you bad. Sick of rhymes, do you wrong? Do you wrong? And look. Sit down in a jail right now. Sick of rhymes. I will not make you proud of me. Fuck you. You left me stranded. You, you left Queenie stranded. You get what I'm saying? Is when Queenie win, you post her on the wall talking about you putting crown on her head. But you weren't there for her. You all act like you have all this power around here. You want to control us. You want to hone us. You want to divorce us when you all feel like you want, you all want to be the men that run dance all and just have us in the background. And no, no, this is where it stopped. When I sat and I look into it, I said, in the midst of his excellency, RT, if anybody is going to be proud of me, it will be RT. I always wanted to like make up for what Spice did. I, I, this is the truth. Because I feel that Spice shouldn't be ungrateful. You have to be grateful to your Obeah man, your psychic, your pastor, of course the fans, everybody, your assistant. You got to be grateful to everyone. And I think that, you know, it's, it, it, you, you could have said something. He don't want no money from you. The man is rich. All he needed was some recognition. You understand? And I will be more than happy to, to be his artist. More than happy. Because I know he got the dough. Number one. I know he travels in style with his entourage and everything. So I'll have an entourage. I know that when he talk, people bow in the real world and does whatever he asks for a real thing. I've seen it in real life because I met RT last year. I know he don't give, he don't go to the lobster place in Elshire and have to give his phone, L.A. Lewis, because he ain't got no money, L.A. Lewis. Like how you come online and talk about how you have money and you bought me for dinner and let me pick up a people them lobster and then eat it and then had no money to pay them. The man, it was so embarrassing. First, he wanted to leave my phone. I'm going to say, not my good up, good up phone. May I forget my calls them from my pitney them in America. And him turn around and I have to leave film phone because him going to pay for the lobster. No, RT boss don't roll like that. I test him and I tried him. Do you think this morning we really need um, $200 in my bank account? $265? No. I came online first and I cuss out him bomb a clock, which, which I always do. But respect, dude. Let me tell you, I do respect that guy. But anyway, I follow my spirit. I get up and I cuss him off. And you know what I like about RT? Him to follow me up. And that is what I like also about Chensi. Chensi don't follow me up. Because you know entertainers how they act. You understand? At the end of the day, he could still come on this morning. Come and raise him up, yeah? Because yesterday, my wife is speak to my queenie. And him tell me, say, my queenie, I come on live to talk to me. And then when I come on live, he might tell me about Ben, Ben, Ben. Promote his song. Although I promote it right now in the midst of everything. That's a kind of genius that I am. You understand? 
And anyway, I um, was mad because I wanted to speak to the queen. So I got upset this morning and cussed him off. But guess what? Him come true. Him come true. And me tell him, listen, man, you need to give me $200 right now to put up some candles and things for my spirit because you make me mad. The fans them say 400. I'm say, oh, no, me know why. Two for me and two for Queenie. You get me? And, you know, me did tell him, say, me I put up some candles. Me I put up some candles, but me I get my ear done, me, um, my nails done out of the money. Me not go, me not go joke about that, the $65 mm -hmm. for do my nails. You get me? Um, yeah, all on the baby. So, um, yeah, I want to thank RT for loving me as I am. I want to thank him for loving Queenie the way she is, for accepting us. Because I don't know why these so-called managers and producers are offended when we say no to them. You already know our spirit. You already know the type of people we are. You already know our, our, our temperament. And yet when we speak our minds, even in a respectful manner, you all get offended. Girl power! Yes, Queenie. Girl power. You understand? You think sound on a joke thing. Leng, right now nobody don't care about Sting. Nobody don't care unless Queen Lady Gangster and Amari is coming to Sting. They tell me they don't care. You know I'm the genius around here and I did the measurement this morning. Nobody care. But RT, it is your duty an obligation to make sure that the children and the people of Jamaica see Lady Gangster and Amari. Because um, this morning you could tell that Queenie just, she, she's like a fish in a pond. Queenie, Queenie want to go into the ocean. Queenie want to sting. You could tell. Queenie ready. Remember so she not a pitney and all I done. You know, we only have a grand pitney them we love so much. Queenie is ready to roll and sting. How oh, wicked can you be? If you even intend for call Amari and Queenie to sting, who made you what you are? You tell me you gonna tell us at the last fucking minute? Like the people now have a life. Me never know say your name, your name Gregor. The last time I check him go pan arm, yacht and everything and had me waiting nine days. Nine years I wait on him. Put off everything what I have to do for myself. So Sting, you not think so we have to do our ear. We have to do with nails. We have to set with house right. Make sure it's a grocery in the house and everything. You not, you not think so we have to do with facial. You not think so we have to go shopping. You understand? No matter how much clothes we have, your money is supposed to buy the clothes for Sting. You not think so we have a life. Eh? And then they just want to call for we at the last. Because you are going to need us. You are going to need us. Because there is no use. I, 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 I don't need to predict this. Any stupid person know for sure that Sting is a flop this year. Y'all basically, it was us who cover up the flop last year. Last year was a total disaster. And we are the ones who made the difference in regards to everything. So, a lot of people say, oh, Amari and Queenie are going to fall out. Y'all ain't worried. That's for you to wonder what's going to happen. Yeah, wonder about that. The more you think that we ain't going to um, make it, is the more it will be exciting. Yeah, for real. And, of course, we will have our lovers quarrel. And that's, that's just going to get... The way I'm thinking right now is... Queen Lady Gangster and Amari, we both got to be billionaires. We both got to be rich. And let me tell you how it's going to happen. And you can record it, motherfuckers who call yourself promoters. Let me tell you how it's going to happen. Amari is the genius. When it comes to the computer, the bookwork and everything, when it comes to the promotion and everything, Amari knows how to send everything viral. All Queenie got to do is sit there with her pretty self and you watch around here. You, you gonna hardly hear Queenie talk about Dewey cause Dewey, I'm gonna be so relevant in her life that we won't even realize that you're absent. You understand? Because you think you could go with a cho-cho that you call Momo and you could chew on it 
and you can embarrass her and leave her like, and standing like Lenny Nevity, it ain't going to happen. Me and my bitch, we got to step out and make history, entertainment. We're going to make the people laugh. We're going to make the people happy. We're going to bring, bring back Christmas to Jamaica. We're going to do interviews together, no matter what the weather. We're going to do the interviews, the shows. We're not going to be intimidated by each other. My fans going to follow her. Our fans going to follow me. It's going to be more love around here. We're going to go to the schools in Jamaica. We're going to give our pads and patties and whatever. You understand? Whatever they need. If we have to come on this platform and get money, collect money and help them, we will. And no RT, we ain't got to give them no old wigs. Because Jamaican people, let me tell you, stylistic, we're going to make sure, the, you know what we're going to do, Queenie? Make sure the girls in high school get some real nice weave and some real nice lace front. That's what we're going to do for them and build up these girls' confidence. We're going to look out for women, for teens that get pregnant and drop out of school like I did. Drop out of school at 14 years old and gave birth to my first child at 15 years old. When I dropped out of school, my, my mother came from the U.S. and threw me out. I ended up on the streets. That will happen to no other child in Jamaica. Once me and Queen Lady Gangster start this journey in regards to healing our country. No child impregnated should be on the streets because of giving birth to life. So many um, teens have lost their lives trying to do abortions behind, trying to do abortions behind their parents' back. And a lot of them never got to heal because it is their biggest secret. They never got to share it with no one. We want to make sure as girls, demonstrating girl power, that we sit with these children, these teens, and, and, and um, enlighten them to provide therapy for them, to help them with their babies, to provide milk and whatever the children need. You understand? We're going to be there for them. And if you agree with this, let's go, baby. Let's go. Internet, let's go. Like and share everything that we do and support us in whatever we do. But we never, we don't need to come here and beg. We're willing to work for it. You understand? Now, there are two things I could work with. I could either work with my mouth or work with my pussy. They both look alike. I choose to use my mouth. Some people say I talk too much. But I'll use these broadcasting lips and I'll speak up for the children of Jamaica. Yeah. And I know you all say, Amari, where are your tits? Gone. Gone. Men are breastfeed no more. It's time to step out and help the world. My children are all grown. This morning, somebody say, go look about your, your kids. I say, I was like, RT, what is she talking about? Kids? Kids? My oldest kid is going to be, they're twins. They're going to be 19 years old. I came into this life and I came into this life for a purpose. I don't know about this bitch shit thing. Dance old queen. Because as far as I'm concerned about concerned right now, there's more than one queen. Queenie said it from last year, and I totally agree. There gotta be two. Two. Because if one fall, the other is able to pick that one up. We're, we're not always at our best game. We, we can't always deliver. Sometimes life just knocks us down. We got to be able to pick up each other. Now, there have never been unity between women and women in dance hall. No true unity. You're about to see it. You have never seen Spice and Chancey come together in unity and work towards making Jamaica a better place. Have you ever seen it? You have never seen none from way, 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 way back as far as you can go. But go tell the star, go tell the gleaner, go, go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere that we intend to represent our country. Queen Lady Gangster from the UK, Amari from the USA. Someday, baby, you will be in the USA. I will make sure 
in regards to that. I am the CEO of Phantom Fireworks Record Label. And guess what? I will more than welcome you, Queen Lady Gangster, in Africa. That is where I like to take you. Baby, I'll take you there. You will not miss Doobie one inch. If you want to come back home, of course, we welcome you home. But it's going to be, it's a different story. It's not the way it used to be. We don't deal with disloyalty. You got to be loyal. We don't deal with that. We don't deal with that. So anyway, I'm going to get my IV and everything because I'm ready to step out. Queen Lady Gangster, your love empowers me. I feel like now I can fly like an eagle. And I, I hope it reciprocates or all them say to you. I hope you feel the same way too. And I hope you will just fly like an eagle. I showed RT the picture today of a phoenix. A phoenix, they say, never dies. You know, it always resurrects, whatever, whatever. But um, RT, I just want to say thank you. And thank you, Lisa. You were there for me when I needed you the most. Thank you, my fans, our fans, because my fans are queen of fans too. I'll never say unfollow. I've been loving this girl from a long time ago. Thank you for watching my videos, the full video this morning in regards to Amari and Queenie. Um, the full, not full, 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 because we had to edit out, the, edit out the songs, you know. But you will find it on YouTube at youtube.com slash C slash Amari DJ Mona Lisa One. And um, you can also go to facebook.com slash Amari Seven 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 so um i need to start looking here because you know maybe rt have something to say and he has the more the most to say about around here please i'm ready Charney. don't worry darling please make sure that you um that you all support rt because he need enough money how a little baby you know i'm going to provide the videos you understand Please make sure that you support him because he's going to provide the money to, <clears throat> so that we can get our own sting. Yeah, yeah. Our team, would I glad if you, um, can you do this in a week? We can even have a white party. You get me? And then we leave from the white party and, you know, we go into the ghetto and treat the kids and everything is Christmas time. Can you make it happen, RT? Just make it happen. I love the children of Jamaica so much. Queen of Boring, and I just want to come to Jamaica and meet up with Queen Lady Gangster. The world will be shouting. It will be the biggest excitement in Jamaica. We want to go on, on stage together. Well, Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad, and Tobago, all around the world, girl power. It's going to be so beautiful. Do you see how the year is ending? And if right now, Sting still want to marry and I'm um, DJ Mona Lisa and Queen Lady Gangster, talk to my manager. Talk to RT. Right now, you can't talk to me. Big up to um, Claude Mills. Big up to the star, big up to the Dlina, and big up to you beautiful people. You're so beautiful. And you know what's nice? You, the ones that have been there all this time and know what we've been through. Between me and you, you look like Queen Lady Gangster got through certain things too, so, but she not ready for talk. Yes, it look like she sit on pan it. Yeah, look like them treat her bad too. Yeah, but you're not ready for talk. She hold it down. But Amari, men are keeping a secret. You not know, treat me bad. You not know, treat me bad, bad, bad. But me not see why now for treat her so bad. Because between me and you, when Queen Lady Gangsa go to Jamaica the other day, Queen Lady Gangsa never expect to come back. She honestly, me just are looking to her mind. Kind of expect me to chat her, so make me chat her. She thought that they would just say, Yo, you, you are on sting, so why don't you just stay? When I tell you I'm going to get those dirty bungles all the way to Jamaica for your birthday, and they're not going to tell her, put her up a Pegasus and tell her if you just stay for sting, eh? You know, I'm going to suffer for that. Masaka Balingiri Oko Balingiri, in Malingiri, oh God is truly amazing. King Mixer! Don't you see how God is working things out? One shoulder move. Mama, Masaka Balingrio. One trend in TV. How I always say, 
Masaka Balingri and all these great bloggers. You're doing a great job. So I have to make sure so the camera look good for you. Know. All right. And I have to make sure most of all, say the, the, um, the fans camera look good. Fans, you are fans. We love you. And when you see us in Jamaica, just scream. Make we scream like we are white chick. Just scream. Amari, Queenie. No, no, we're not going to jealous because we are going to be too busy to sign autograph. I'll be like, Queenie, can you sign this one for me? Oh, my gosh. 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 I'm like, when you're talking at the England boys, uh, and say, are you crazy? Uh, are you crazy, Queenie? Oh, my gosh. We, got, we all got the book. Oh my gosh, Queenie, if you in war for God, just hurry up and divorce him because we don't want him divorcing when you're rich and him go want some of the money because we are about to make the Dow money, 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 money. We don't run down money, money run us down. Talk to you later, guy. In all things, give God the praises and the glory. In Jesus' name, Lord, man, when, when we tell you, God, you're truly amazing.